Hello, Internet. Welcome to the documentary on the National Bank of America. More importantly, who founded it? The father, founding father whose name was... <laughs> Alexander Hamilton! What are you doing? I'm recording a video for YouTube. I I was walking by and it sounded boring. Who wants to hear about some salty codger that made a bank? I bet you don't even know who he was. Alexander Hamilton fought for what he believed in. We had national debt in this country, and he took a stand against it. Do you not even know that about him? Sounds like you don't even know what you're talking about. Excuse me? Let me take you on a magical journey. That sounds dumb and like a waste of my time. Too I bad. You're not going. 1789. The report on public credit. The year was 1789. Alexander Hamilton had just <laughs> become the first Treasury Secretary of the United States under President George Washington. Hamilton was given a purpose to make a debt plan to unite the state debt and the national debt so they can pay off the debt of the Revolutionary War. When we fix our nation's great public credit, we will reach our independence goal. Okay, today we received a letter from the Treasury Secretary. The report on public debt recommends that we split national and state debt. Why would someone do that? It is against everything the nation stands for. Guess who benefits? The Treasury Secretary himself. Well, what do we do? This is what Britain did, and we fought to get away from Britain. Why should we use their bank structure? This plan will never get approved. True. True. The rumor it happens, the dinner with Jefferson. Hamilton had one bad part about his plan. Congress would not allow it. Southern states thought it was ridiculous. Why would we ever allow this? So, one man named Thomas Jefferson, third president of the United States, agreed with Hamilton to meet over dinner over the issue and how they could resolve it. Thank you for joining me tonight for this meeting over dinner. I'm delighted to be here. One big piece of information. Jefferson hated the plan. It was, it was against everything about it. Until he had one idea. To get something out of the dinner. I want to make a quid pro quo. I'll get the southern states to vote for your plan. If you agree to put the capital in the south. I think that is reasonable for this situation. A toast to the plan's approval. <laughs> uh, so, did you learn anything? Yeah, but how did that look the long term effect? Is that conclusion? Oh, you know the ending. Let me show you the past again. No! Oh! Many things happened due to the plan's approval. Some were bigger than others. The biggest things were the first national bank was created of America. It was a very good bank and it was dedicated to Alexander Hamilton. Because of him, he took a stand to get a bank. Next, a mint was created to make all the money of the world, well, the U.S. currency. It was really good and I feel that's very great that he stood up for what he wanted. Thank you, Alexander Hamilton. And a better part is, because of this, he was put on a currency. He's on the $10 bill, and there was talk about taking him off until an amazing man saw how good he was. And he made him it. Alexander Hamilton's stand up to national debt created this country. I thank you, Alexander Hamilton, because I am an American. Thank you. John Paul Oberst, National History Day Project, 2017.